the math and you went, oh my goodness, what do we have here? I cannot believe this. Is that a unicorn on my video? No, you're not real. How can you actually be there? Unicorns don't exist. I don't know about that, Mr. Wara. How else would I even be seeing you if you weren't real because you wouldn't be on the page and therefore that means that you're, yeah, okay. But that unicorn sure has one long explanation. However, I must say it was pretty logical. Anywho, oh my goodness, well he's kind of cool looking, look at that. Got the blue mane going on and everything. Well, you know what, you're kind of cool, but you're not real. I know, I know, hey. I know someone comes to mind, you know, when I think of someone who believes in unicorns, yes. Although we won't mention any names. Yes, let's go ahead and get on with our video, my friends. As you can see, we are doing lesson 10.3. You can see that our topic here today is simply weight. Here's our essential question. This is our learning target, our objective, and what we're going to learn today. And it states, how can you compare and convert customary units of weight? Cool. Compare and convert. Now, convert, now that refers to like to change. And for us, customary units of weight, we use our units such as the pound. Okay, we could use maybe ounces. Okay, so those are the customary because that's what we here in the United States typically use. However, it's good to know that we're probably the, if not one of the very few countries that use these types of units. Most all the countries around the world use the metric system, you know, my friends, and it's a great, great system, I might add. But anyways, you know, it's time to unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, it's real world, baby. Real world, real world. It says here that Hector's school is having a model rocket contest. Oh, very cool. To be in the contest, each rocket must weigh four pounds or less without any paint. Hector's rocket weighs 62 ounces. If Hector wants to paint his rocket, what is the weight of the most paint he can use? Again, every time I read any type of word problem, I'm always thinking about how I can kind of here, unlock the problem. That's right, unlock it, unpack it a little bit so I can get a better understanding what it's asking me. However, I think our little friend over here, the unicorn, is blocking part of our work. Now it says here, what weight does Hector need to convert? I'm also looking at the second question to see how this might help. After Hector converts the weight, what does he need to do next? So it's already letting us know by a guiding question that we need to maybe convert. Yes, I do, I see, I see four pounds and I also see 62 ounces. And pounds and ounces are two completely different units of weight. We need to change. Pounds are a larger unit than ounces. There are, as a matter of fact, there are 16 ounces in one pound. So what I'm thinking is I need to take that four pounds and put that into ounces. Then I could take my 16 ounces, see, and multiply that Okay, by four, since I have four pounds. I hope I'm not going ahead, I might be. That would be 24, carry the two, four, so I would end up 64 ounces. But here the question just says, what weight does Hector need to convert? Well, he needs to convert the four pounds uh, to ounces. This is after Hector converts the weight, what does he need to do next? Now that we would have everything into ounces. The problem said to be in the contest, it says that each rocket must weigh four pounds or less. Now I kind of cheated here, I went ahead. So that would mean then he can't go above 64 ounces. So what are we going to need to do next? We're gonna to need to subtract. So he's going to need, he needs to subtract. Cool, all right. Yeah, see you later, unicorn. Now, it does say here that you can use a bar model to write an equation. Okay. Now, I'll convert four pounds to ounces. Okay. And it's showing here, looks like we have our one group of, of, of 16 right here, right? Another group to 16 there. And so, that's like four. So, we're saying four times 16, which I did above. Remember that? Yeah. So, I won't have to do it again, right? We ended up with 64. That's what four copies of 16 are. And then we come over here, and it looks like that now we're going to record that. So we had the total pounds of four. What do we have here? Okay, this one we're converting. There were 16 ounces in one pound. And then, of course, when you multiply that, 
you end up with your 64 ounces total. Cool, this is the bar model they're referring to. Step two, subtract the rocket's weight from the total ounces a rocket can weigh to be in the contest. And remember that was 64. And we're subtracting the 62 because the 62 ounces, right, that was what his rocket weighs like right now without any paint on there. That's the actual weight was 62. So this leaves us with two ounces. That means he can only use two ounces of paint. And I'm not talking about volume of paint, but I'm actually talking about weight. So the weight of the paint can be at most two ounces for Hector's model rocket to be in the contest. Cool. Hey, that was really easy. Super, super easy. Now, should we look at this mathematical practices here down, down below since we have math talk? So how did you choose which operation to use to change from pounds to ounces? Oh, that's a great question. Great question. The operation, right? We only have four of them. Multiply, right? Divide. We have addition and we have subtraction. And it's asking us, how do we know? And I'm going to say, since, you know, we had, we had a larger unit. Whenever we go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, then we're going to need to multiply. So since basically here, since ounces are smaller than pounds, okay, that was how I needed more of the ounces. And there's 16 ounces in every pound. That's letting me know I would need to multiply to get more of them. So I basically needed to multiply by 16, not to divide. Let me write those notes, notes down. Okay, it's page master. Woohoo! There we go. Yes, what do we have here now? Okay, now we have an example. It says, the rocket boosters for a U.S. space shuttle shut... Whoa, dude! <laughs> what? Yeah, what are you... Oh. <laughs> okay, I get it. Right, you weren't there, and so I'm saying you weren't real, but see, sometimes just because something's not there doesn't mean I'm not real. Ooh, that's a good one. You know what, Mr. Unicorn? You're one smart fella. I'll give you that. And you know, usually I make fun of some of the feature animals, but you know what? You're pretty you're pretty astute. Now, we need to get you off the screen though. I hope you don't mind. You made your point. A very good point I might add, okay? I'll let you take a ride on the space shuttle. There you go. All right. Have a blast. Like out in space and don't come back. <laughs> All right. Now, back to the problem. Back to the regular programming. It says the rocket boosters for a US space shuttle weighs Oh my goodness, 1,292,000 pounds each when the shuttle is launched. That's amazing. How many tons does each rocket booster weigh? Now it says use mental math to convert pounds to tons. Ooh, mental math. Ooh, I get to use my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's use my brain. It says step one. Decide which operation to use. That's that's key. I agree. Now, it does say since pounds are smaller than tons, because I know, I remember we used to joke around, you know, oh, well, I ate so much food, I feel like I ate a ton, right? Just kind of an expression, figurative language. So, I knew that tons is larger. Now, it does say I need to blank the number of pounds by blank. Okay, so now I'm taking a smaller unit, right? And I'm wanting to convert it to a larger unit. That's the opposite of what we did in that last problem. So if you look over here and move the little unicorn's little mud there or whatever he's got going on there. Again, we hope it's just mud. And you know, here it says one pound is equal to 16 ounces and one ton, just by the character, T says that it's equal to 2,000 pounds. So there's 2,000 pounds in one ton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide. And that is just the opposite of what we did last time because we were taking a larger unit, pounds, and converting it into ounces. But this time, we're converting pounds into tons. And that's a change. So that means we're going to use the number based on our chart right here, our conversion chart, units of weight. That number is 2,000, the lucky number. Okay, so let's do step two. Yeah! Break 2,000 into two factors that are easy to divide by mentally. Okay, yes, I like that. Well, this is really easy because if we did have two factors, 2,000, and it shows times two, well, there's your good old power 10 we've been doing so much work with. Would that just be 
1,000 because 1,000 times 2 is 2,000. Woohoo! Yeah, that is so easy. Really? This is fifth grade? Okay, just checking, just checking. Now, step three says divide 1,292,000 by the first factor, then divide the quotient by the second factor. So what are they suggesting here? Since I see three zeros that maybe I could divide by the first factor, I could, couldn't I? Could I divide that by, by 1,000? Of course I could. Yes, in fact, I just did it, almost. My quotient then would be, yeah, it's just going to be 1,292. Would you concur? I don't know. You can always challenge. I'm feeling like I like it. Okay, now I'm looking at 1,292. And I'm showing that I'm going to take a number and divide it by 2. So in a sense, I'm finding half of 1,292. I could do it the old-fashioned way. That always works. Sometimes in your brain, you can just kind of do it mentally. It did say something about doing it mentally early, earlier. So here I have my 12. That's leaving me with 0. I bring my 9 down. That's going to go in there 4 times. And then that's going to be 8. 1 left over. You can see I'm going to end up with 646. So... 1,292 then divided by 2 is 646. Yay! So each rocket booster weighs, in this case because we did that dividing by 2. Now why did we do that dividing by 2? Don't lose track. Because there's 2,000 pounds in one ton. So that's why we're dividing by 2. Okay, 2,000 pounds in one ton. Okay, And don't forget we were going from a smaller unit. To a larger and when we go from smaller to larger we need to divide because we don't need quite as many of that unit because the unit is larger okay okay yeah sure now it's time for share and show share and show that's right get those math boards out my friends yeah get your little dry erase marker and let's get busy now it does say use the picture to complete each equation okay it says one pound equals, oh yeah, I remember. One pound is equal to 16 ounces, okay? Two pounds then would have to equal, right? We're just going to double the number, right? Yeah, we're going to multiply by two. I'm just doing that in my head. We're going from larger to smaller. We have to multiply, multiply. Now here's our pounds and here's our ounces. Larger to smaller. If we're going from larger to smaller, we need to multiply three pounds. We're going to take 16 times three, which you guys can do mentally. Yes, you can. It's just simply 48. So we put 48 there. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Now, D, we have four pounds. We're just adding on another 16, which is going to be 64. In fact, that number popped up, didn't it, earlier, I believe so, in the lesson? It did. Then five pounds. We're adding one more 16. Given us, I don't know, what is that, 80, 16, two, two. yeah, it's 80. Oh, I got so lucky. Yes, and now it says convert. We have pounds, we have ounces. The first thing I would ask myself is, am I going from smaller to larger or larger to smaller? Kind of helps us out. And because pounds is larger than ounces, I need kind of more of the ounces because more ounces make up one pound. I'm going to need more of them. And that means I'm going to need a multiply to make my number a little bit larger, if you will, if that makes sense. So I'm going to take 15 then, and I'm going to multiply that by 16. Why by 16, you ask? Because there are 16 ounces in one pound. Now I have 30, carry the three, that's six, that's nine. Placeholder. Okay, and then I have five, and then I have one. Now I'm going to add, because I never subtract when I'm multiplying, ever. That wouldn't be a good idea. 14, carry the one, 240. Wow, that's a lot of ounces. 240 ounces, yeah. You can see why it would be better to use the unit of measure of pounds because you don't have such a huge number. Now we come to number three. It says 3T, whoo, and that equals how many pounds? Well, here's my tons and here's my pounds. Well, tons is a larger unit, no doubt. So pounds are smaller, I need more of them. Here we go again. So this is a multiplying situation, except this one here, pure mental math. 3T is 2,000 pounds in each ton. I'm just gonna take 2,000 and then multiply it by three. I could do that in my head, my friends. 6,000. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Number four, 320 ounces. Yeah, is equal to, I don't know, there's a blank, but there's a pound sign. And if I have ounces and then I have pounds, I'm going from smaller, ooh, to larger. This problem is trying to trick us. It's not like the other two. Help! 
Now, okay, we got this. Relax. We're going to divide because we're going to a smaller unit and they're going to fit into a larger unit. That means we're going to divide. We're going to take 320 and we're going to divide that by 16 because there are 16 ounces in one pound. Oh my goodness, we could do this. Mental math, right? Look at that. Two, that's 32. Leaving us with zero. We have to bring that zero down though. And even though it says zero, it goes in there zero times. So don't forget that that zero will go up there. We can always double check our work. Two times 16 is 32. Add on my zero, 320. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to put 20 pounds. There we go. Oh my goodness, this math video is slowly coming to an end. I can just feel it. Oh, I wish we had like five more pages. No. Well, it does say we have some math talk here, mathematical practice. Let's see if we already covered this. It does say explain how you can compare 11 pounds to 175 ounces mentally. I'll probably just talk this one out. Basically here, you know, hmm, how could I do it? How can I compare? Well, I would probably first want to do is take that 11 pounds, right? And put that into some ounces to see how that compares to the 175. And since 10 pounds would be a power of 10, like 10 would be easy to multiply 16. That would give me 160. Then I could add out another 16, giving me 176. Huh, there we go. And boy, that's really close. So that's within one ounce. Amazing, isn't it? Just amazing how that happens. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're really showing off your little magic tricks. You know what? That's what it is. You're magical. Maybe you're not real. You're just magical, Mr. Unicorn. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Miss Unicorn. Ooh, my goodness. People can be sensitive. Even when, even when you're not real. Just kidding. Hey, you know what? You're magical, and you know what? I'll let you, whoa, yeah, you keep doing that. That's pretty, pretty tricky, huh? It's actually going to make you a little bit larger, but I'm having some issues. Come on, get big. Ooh, there you go. You're huge now, see? I made, I brought you to the forefront. See, Miss Unicorn. Okay. <laughs> hey, my friends, you know, it is time to say goodbye, and I hope that you found this math video helpful. Hey, if you like the math videos, become part of a growing team. Yes, subscribe. Now, and of course, if you like the video, give it a like, right? Is that what you guys say? Like it, my friends. All right, now, live long.